This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at the question, who was Melchizedek? Melchizedek, whose name means king of righteousness, was a king of Salem, which is Jerusalem, and a priest of the Most High God. We see this in a number of Old Testament passages and also the, the book of Hebrews. Melchizedek's sudden appearance and disappearance in the book of Genesis is somewhat mysterious. Melchizedek and Abraham first met after Abraham's defeat of Chedorlaomer and his three allies. Melchizedek presented bread and wine to Abraham and his weary men, demonstrating his friendship. So he bestowed a blessing on Abraham in the name of El Elyon, which means God Most High, and praised God for giving Abraham a victory in the battle. So Abraham presented Melchizedek with the tithe, the tenth of all the items he had gathered. By this act, Abraham indicated that he recognized Melchizedek as a priest who ranked higher spiritually than Abraham did. So some propose that Melchizedek was actually a pre-incarnate appearance of Jesus uh, or a Christophany. This is possible given that Abraham had received such a visit before. So you can look at Genesis 17, uh, where, where that happened. So Hebrews 6.20 says, Jesus became a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. This term order would ordinarily mean there was some succession of priests holding the office. None are ever mentioned, however. And it's, it's the long interval between Melchizedek to Jesus. So that's an anomaly that can be solved by assuming that Melchizedek and Jesus are really the same person. Thus, the order is eternally vested in him and him alone. So if the description in Hebrews is literal, it's indeed difficult to see how it could properly be applied to anyone but the master Jesus, the Messiah. If the description of Melchizedek is figurative, then the details of having no genealogy, no beginning and ending, and a ceaseless ministry are simply statements accentuating the mysterious nature of the person who met Abraham. In this case, the silence of Genesis account concerning these details is purposeful, purposeful and it better serves to link Melchizedek with Jesus. So are Melchizedek and Jesus the same person? Well, a case can be made either way. At the very least, Melchizedek is a type of Jesus, a type of the Messiah, prefiguring the Lord's ministry. But it's also possible that Abraham, after his weary battle, met and gave honor to the master Jesus himself. How glorious will that day be for all of us?